Hello everyone, I'm Tantum. We're at the Funkhaus again and today we're going to take a look at how I made my track Stomper. This is the original project file of Stomper. This time I will go more in depth on the idea behind the track, on the sound design and why I made things the way I did. Let's start with the drums. Here's just a loop uh, with everything playing. Pretty basic groove. I actually just started with this sound here, which is actually a wavetable. What gives it uh, the depth, the modulation I did here. So I have an LFO on the release time here, some corpus and distortion, which makes it have more texture and the send, just like an echo that uh, has an LFO on the delay timing. And if you do this while having repitch enabled, it'll pitch the delay buffer up and down, which uh, makes like an interesting kind of sound. So there's that. The rest of the drums is pretty basic. Just some high ear candy shakers. You can see there's also some samples I used from an older project of mine, uh, Call of the Void. That's something I like to do. Reuse my own sounds, but I also modify them. And I think it really helps me to maintain like signature kind of sound but I also change things up, like you can see there's lots of effects on this shaker sound I also used in another track of mine. Yeah, so much for the drums. And on top of this groove, I came up with the bass line. So let's take a look at the bass. So the bass line is a very simple MIDI. Uh, sometimes you don't need a lot, like this is actually the main bass line and that's everything that's playing. The MIDI is very, very simple. Just a very simple analog patch. Then I have another layer on top, really quiet, with uh, some distortion. Together it sounds like this. Some side chaining on the bus. An EQ that goes on in the break. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Remember, you can al always keep it simple. It doesn't have to be super complicated. And sometimes easy does it. Like in this track, the drums and the bass is very simple and all the complexity is in the main sound. The way I'm, I'm using my instruments now, the modular and my other synths, is by using CV instruments and CV tools. But you do need a special sound card for it, like a Motu sound card for example. But what it allows me to do is sending for example this and uh, it's being sent out as a CV instrument to the gate out on three, so I have all my cables labeled. And the pitch in this track is actually, it's a CB utility. I just draw an automation by hand here, and that's what's being sent to the modular. You can see the line here. The idea how I thought of like doing something like this is actually from playing guitar, because you have like a tremolo on some guitars and you can like wild pitch bends with it and I thought like I can do something like this on my modular as well so that's how I got the idea to do that so for the melodics in this track that's where all the interesting stuff is we have the modular which uh, kind of makes the whole track this is the original recording here and you can see the processing here is just an EQ Valhalla room reverb default preset just tweaked to my liking. Compressor to keep the dynamics in, in check. Valhalla delay also default tweaked to my liking. 
I will explain the patch to you in depth on the modular system. A lot of people always ask me how I get my ideas for tracks or sound design and instruments. What can I say? Try to experiment, break the rule and find inspirations from nature, from things you see, from things you feel. Feel free to do things different, like out of the norm. And that's something I really did in this track. So I want to show you the patch for the main sound on my modular. Let's jump right in. So I marked all my cables. You can see this envelope ADSR is being triggered and CV out 4 is my pitch. It's running through a VCA, attenuating the signal, going into my Dupfer oscillator. I will try to stick to red cables for audio, white cables for troll voltages. I'm gonna use the saw wave out of the Dupfer and I also use white noise in this patch. So I got this from my noise module and I'm also putting it in this VCA. So those upper two VCAs are mixing the signal which I will use. I'm using the inverted signal with a splitter here to control the VCA amount before it goes into the filter, which is the next step. So the white noise and the oscillator will be mixed into the filter. The filter will then get the regular envelope into the filter modulation and this signal is going into the mimeophone which is a delay module. The way I'm using it here is I have the zone set to the smallest amount and the repeats just to one and I have the left right skew on so what it does it's like a Haas effect. It's a super short delay just delaying the right and left side so you get a super wide sound from it. I'm gonna use two blue cables for audio here because the distance is too big. I'm taking this signal out into my dupe for mixer left and right and now we already have sound and uh, now you can play around and you can already recognize the sound from the original right? I'm using the 4-pole to split the signal into my clouds module, it's a clone one. And this output will be mixed into the mixer again. So if I turn those down, you can hear the output from the clouds module. But right now there's not so much happening. A whole stack of cables just for modulation. Uh, different parameters like the texture, position, the grain density, also the freeze and the volt per octave is also being modulated by an LFO from my ornament and crime. And now you can hear it's uh, already giving you those eerie sounds the track is known for. And if I mix in the original That's how I did the main modular patch for Stomper. And I hope this will inspire some of you to really experiment, to try out different things and really go wild on the modulation because that's what makes a sound really interesting. The second main melodic sound is like this wavetable. I have an LFO modulating the detune. I'm modulating the rate of which it's modulating the detune. It's uh, kind of like double stack. Makes this very simple patch have a lot more depth than it would usually have. The trick here is that it's polyrhythmic. So you can see the length of the pattern is not equal parts, so it's repeating as a polyrhythm, which uh, helps it sound interesting even though it's just one note. So yeah, this is pretty much the whole track. It's a pleasure doing those videos for you, I really hope you enjoy it and wish you have a great time. Hope you like the track, if you like it, please support it by sharing it with your friends, listening on Spotify, buying it on Beatport and yeah, thank you everyone, have a great time, bye.